Hello everyone, welcome to Historia. Today we will talk about Herodotus. So let's go for the intro. Herodotus called the father of the history. But there is no source to know about the life of Herodotus. No biography was written in his corner. And even though something like that was written, it did not reach us. Subsequently, various authors have mentioned it without exception. There is a small article on him in the lexicon named Suda, compiled in the Byzantine city in the 10th century AD. Of course, his written history is the main and necessary source of his biography. As far as is known, he was born in 474 BC in the city of Helicarnassus, a Dorian colony in Asia Minor. In hindsight, it seems he was involved in governing power and politics. He was once exiled by the dictator Ligdamis, but later he returned to the country to overthrow a oppressive ruler and establish a constitutional government. He succeeded in this task, despite contribution to homeland and relatives, for unknown reason he became very unpopular with the countrymen. This unhappiness forced him to decide to leave his native Helicarnassus forever. He came to Athens in 448 BC. After staying here for four years, he moved to Thuri, a colony of Athens founded in southern Italy. In his sphere of his life, various journeys, hard work and careful research have to be included for writing famous histories. The most impressive thing is the range of his travels. It is bounded on the south by Egypt, on the north by Scythia, on the west by the west coast of the Mediterranean Sea, Magna Gracia to Babylon on the east. He traveled all over the world from his time. This travel information he described in his history. The Greek author Herodotus was the first to write a comprehensive and systematic history book. His book, Histories, is commonly known as the history of Greco-Persian War. He died in Thuri after 430 BC. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next one.